That's what she does. That's so cute. So there's Willow swimming around chasing the fish in our pond. Here's Dawson, Willow's best bud. And here's all the new koi that we picked out today. How fun was that though? That was a blast. That was yeah. awesome. This is how I spend Father's Day. And these two guys were actually living in the indoor pond at Aqualand. And now they're going to my neighbor's pond because I wanted you to get some personal fish. So these guys will be eating it out of your hands. Yeah within a couple of days. The dogs are loving it, right? Getting used to it? Rex, Rex. don't eat the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> and now my neighbors are officially aquascaped and we have the fish going in and then we got a beautiful tropical water lily. This is happy Father's Day to me. I have a new pond to play in. Yay! <laughs> happy Father's Day. Day two, it's me. So the goal today would be to get this waterfall going. So we gotta finish up all of the last pieces of it. We've got a sick operator. Say hello, Daniel. Uh oh. Say hello. Oh, no. <laughs> Somehow he got a cold overnight. <laughs> but look, we got the rock. The pond's almost done, Ed. You know, and we just gotta finish putting up the skimmer in here. And then I think right where Daniel's staying, okay, by the end of the day, do we have the composed granite here? No. Okay, so I'd like to start getting that done. And then of course tomorrow, I'll finish all the landscaping. So day two, finish the pond. Day three, finish the landscaping. Let's get started. All right, we maxed out the dingo, so we had to pull the excavator out of the backyard. Now we can cut our biggest rock, that's an important rock, because that top will be perfect butt rock to fit and feed the fish out. Job. I like it, Eddie. What do you think? Yeah, it looks great. Okay. So, Daniel, you know that Ed and I don't know how to operate because we were back in the day when, you know, we used our hands and our wheelbarrows, right, Ed? Uh, exactly. Oh, oh, but oh, you are right. sick. So this is the last rock that you're setting. You know who we've got to replace you? The president of the company. <laughs> Come on down. You are going home and Al uh, Brian is coming out to replace you. Go feel better, okay, bud? All right, sounds good. Good job. A little progress update. We have a lot of it, everything done on this side, but because of those logistical issues that we discussed the other day, we have to leave this section open for access. We are now coming in and we're trying to remove some of the nasty soil. So there was some really bad soil, lots of debris, crash, and that type of stuff. Travel, we're removing all that material, coming in with some better topsoil, clean all of this up. Now even the pond guy will get dirty. There he is, moving soil. Getting down to the final details. That entire side is completed, backfilled, biofalls is set, all that stuff is done around the top. We are working our way out. Last thing we're gonna be doing is setting the skimmer completely backwards than normal project for us, but it was our only option here. What I love about this is the scale of everything. Massive boulders, relatively small property. The next step is gonna be, we had Matt from Wasco coming out. He, ca he came up with a really cool design for plantings and that will be happening tomorrow. So this will be 100% complete once we pull off this project.
this is a rapid day two. It's actually only a couple of us left. We got the pond guy, we got Brian, we got myself. Everybody else took, we are doing some of the Three little guys, work. Three guys, two empty beers. <laughs> two empty beers. <laughs> but uh, no, you're taking off to 6.30 or something, and yep. then I'm gonna start this waterfall in probably an hour right after dinner. Yeah, absolutely. I think yeah. it looks incredible. Obviously, there's still some edge work that needs to be done and a lot of plantings, but I mean, it, the, the pond is 95% there. Yeah, I figured I was gonna do the landscaping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the waterfalls tonight, make sure there's no low edges. Yeah. It's supposed to rain, which might make a muddy mess, but yep. tomorrow we're going to Wasco Nurseries at seven in the morning, picking yep. up all the plants that Matt from Wasco came out and helped lay out for us. Mm -hmm. Brian's gonna come back at nine o'clock, drop off some steel edging for the crushed, oh, they gotta bring the crushed granite too back, back you know, tomorrow. Somebody does. Somebody does, <laughs> yes. So Brian came out, bad back and all. Daniel went home, cold and all. We don't know if Daniel's gonna come back tomorrow. I'm expecting that, but we'll definitely have myself, Joe, and uh, Papa. And what are you doing okay. tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'm gonna go check out my nephew's oh, good. state championship yes. volleyball game, and I'm gonna be in the office for a bit, so I have to run out there and do that first. So actually, I might come by here first thing in the morning on the way okay. to the office and see this thing run. All right, sounds cool. good. Okay, so Jen, yeah. I thought about this. I want your fish to be friendly, so I'm gonna give some of my pets. So some of these koi in the demo pond here in the front are getting a little big for here. Yeah. So this pond's a little small for them. So we are going to take a couple of these. So pick out three koi from here that you would like, and maybe even a shabunkin or two. And I'm gonna dig them out. I'm gonna personally come in there and, and, and scoop them out. So they're getting a little bit big, but this is my turtle pond at Aqualand. And so we're gonna get a couple. Do you like the yellow ones? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna get a couple of those. So we'll get like maybe three koi out of here, maybe three shabunkins okay. out of here. Shabunkins is a smaller fish, but they'll come right up and eat out of your hands quickly within the first week because they're really fat. They're constantly getting fed here, so they're super fat. So you're gonna get some fat koi because everybody's feeding the turtles and the fish pick some stuff up there. And then we'll go in the back here and we'll pick out some koi from Jap Japanese koi, like three Japanese koi. So three or four fish from here, three or four fish from the back and we're good to go for your pond. Beautiful. What do you think, guys? Very cool. You wanna feed the turtles? Can we? Yeah. It looks like black waterfall foam. I thought you were building ponds. <laughs> Is that the first time you've had a turtle? Yeah. <laughs> and you can see why the fish are fat, because they get the leftovers. Yeah. And this is the hobby. I love it. The aqua scoop one. You got it. Check out the big turtle. Do you see him? Come over here. <laughs> That's a 90-pound alligator snapping turtle named Woody. Oh my God. So you guys thought you were coming to a pet store, huh? Yeah. yeah like PetSmart. <laughs> PetSmart doesn't have koi this big. Ooh. Now, do you girls like snakes? I, I, find, I find them cool. You see the snake? I, I, these girls are impressive. So it's a carpet python. Very good, girls. That's wow. impressive. As the girls play with the snakes, Mama, why don't you pick out what you like? I'd say pick three fish out from this tank. All of these koi are the Japanese koi in here. That's the Jinren, the shiny scales. Yes. Yeah. That's the Jinren. So you're looking for a pleasing pattern. You're looking for bold colors. You're looking for a good body shape. This is a great one right there. This one. Yep, that's a Kohaku Jinrin. So I love the pattern on it, mm -hmm. and I love the shiny scale. So that's a good fish. But you know, it's a you know, it's it's just. I think he's super cool. So now here's a Doitsu. So it's got scaleless. I like the scaleless too. So you see how it's got a smooth skin, and that's part of the hobby is picking out different things. So this is why we bag them up, right, or put them in a, in the bowl. So bowl them up. They kind of look alike. They do. Oh, look they alike. do. And if you're gonna get three different coins, you should get three. So pick out of these two which one you like more. Which, are you girls, you decide. Wow, Which one? Oh, Jalen's love that. <laughs> I like the shinier one. 
Yeah. You're right. We should have got a bigger pond. <laughs> yeah, we should have gotten a bigger pond, Greg. The one with the gin ring. Yeah. Okay. This guy, the it's big like a one. Kohaku gin ring. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. And what did you like about this one? I like this one because he looks like a bandit. Here, why don't you catch him? Oh no, we will actually. There he is. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look, it doesn't look like well, a bandit. That's a show, I think. It does look like a, with that marking. With the markings, he's got like a. All right, let me bulk at the bowl over here. Okay. What we should do is go outside. So these are the imported koi, so they're more okay. expensive. Okay. So let's go out and get. So we got two Japanese koi. Okay. Let's get a koi from outside, okay. and then let's get a couple of my personal pets that we can bring over, and they'll be instantly eating out of your hands. I love it. So what we're gonna do? Okay. So this is real. This is why I do these vlogs. This is happening in real time. We just determined in the last 30 seconds that what are we going to do? We're going to get a turtle. But what do we have to do first? Chicken wire around the fence. So we've got a fence already. No matter how big of a pond, your turtles will walk away because that's what, how they spread their DNA. So what we're going to do is we're going to put chicken wire on the bottom of the fence. Yeah, the puppy and then we're going to put a turtle in there. We just got to pick out a turtle. Probably not a soft shell because they're not the friendliest but maybe a yellow belly cooter or a red ear slider that we have a ton of, or any one of, you know, we got map turtles. We've got so many turtles because we're at Greg's Turtletopia, which will now be with my neighbor's yard. All right, feed them guys. Just like you did the turtles, same thing. <laughs> uh, you wanna feed them? All right, here you go. Just hold it until they put it in the water and then they'll come right out of your hand. And they have no teeth. Oh. Did you like that? <laughs> and this is why I say I love my job, all right? How cool is this? <laughs> Apricot comet and red comet goldfish. Yeah. But they will multiply. <laughs> okay, so then don't put too much. Beautiful gardens going right now. All the lilies are popping off. Koi hanging out here because they're used to getting fed. I love the variety of plants. We even have a few tropicals in here. That purple's a tropical. But it's just supposed to be an inspiration and that's what I love about it. Is this just fun to come to work? <laughs> Pick stuff out? Yeah, I was just gonna say, it's no wonder you just wanna sit here and hang out all day. Let's see, boys. Yep. Right, that's bandit. Beautiful. She's calling him bandit already. One of the things that I wanted my neighbors to experience was fish that were already trained. So by putting in three or four quay, a couple of shabunkins from here. The shabunkins will help train the koi, and fish that have been used to eating out of people's hands that are that fat are gonna come right up within the first week and start eating out of their hands, which will make their experience that much more enjoyable with the pond. Next stop, the Savage's Pond. That's what she does. That's so cute. So there's Willow swimming around chasing the fish in our pond. Here's Dawson, Willow's best bud. And here's all the new koi that we picked out today. How fun was that though? It was a blast. It was yeah. awesome. This is how I spend Father's Day. And these two guys were actually living in the indoor pond at Aqualand. And now they're going to my neighbor's pond because I wanted you to get some personal fish. So these guys will be eating out of your hands Yay! within a couple of days. The dogs are loving it, right? Getting used to it. Right. <laughs> and now my neighbors are officially aquascaped and we have the fish going in and then we got a beautiful tropical water lily. This is happy Father's Day to me. I have a new pond to play in. <laughs> happy Father's Day. the tropical lily that you picked out which will have like the brighter colors and it's 27 inches deep which is like perfect for this but look at the size of this pot come here the size of this pot number one thing that i see when i go on the road is people have their lilies in too small of a container 
I not only have this in a big container with Aquascape Aquatic Plant Soil, but I filled it with fertilizer. So this thing's just gonna take off. This is gonna go from one side, I'm gonna be pulling these leaves out of here in about a month. Wow. And I got the gravel on the top so that the fish don't root around the lilies. If you have koi and they're rooting around in your lilies, you probably don't have gravel throughout the whole pond, so there's nothing for them to root around it. A little bit of dirt. And by tomorrow, the rest of these leaves will have come to the surface. And then it'll just continuously rotate through flowers, especially because it's fertilized. I always fertilize my plants about once a month. Always make sure that I have extra soil in there for them to grow and a bigger container.